If you're going to be fishing at night and you want to throw a spinner bait, should you change your blades to maybe a different color or two? Good morning, guys and girls. Good morning, August 20, 1 Corinthians 6, 11 from a Catch a Better Life book. If you want to get a copy of this book, you can get it at jimmyhouston.com, Amazon. You can buy them at Bass Pro or Cabela's, Books a Million, Hobby Lobby, Barnes & Noble, the, lots of places. 1 Corinthians 6, 11 says, You were washed, you were sanctified, you were justified in the name of the Lord Jesus and by the Spirit of God. Oh my gosh, we're washed, we're sanctified, we're justified in the name of the Lord Jesus and by the Spirit of God. Here's what I wrote about that. So many fishing friends have caught the coronavirus. So many of mine did. I think just about everybody eventually. Uh, yeah, just last month they had the big uh, ICAST show down in Orlando and it ended up being a super spreader. And I don't know how many people have called me and, and said that they uh, caught the coronavirus, uh, caught COVID in that, uh, at that, at that ICAST show. And it's kind of amazing because I was out working in, um, in Las Vegas, uh, for Shell in, in a big convention center with again, thousands of people. And then, uh, over the weekend, I flew over to, uh, uh, to Los Angeles and with Chris and Jack and Sherry and went to some Dodger games with 53,000 people in the stadium. But anyway, so many of my fishing friends caught the coronavirus, Jimmy Sykes, Roland Martin, David Dudley. I could just name name after name after name. Also, a number of friends on our social media platform caught it. We prayed for literally hundreds and hundreds of people on social media, maybe thousands uh, that, that caught the, the China virus. Many used their blood with its antibodies to help cure others. Uh, my daughter did that. My daughter did that. People's lives were saved, washed by the blood of someone who had suffered through that virus. But the donor didn't need to die to help. We, they take blood from people that have had the virus and use the antibodies that's developed in that. You know, it's been a year and a half since I had coronavirus. But to take by blood, it's developed antibodies against that. And they've used that in hospitals with people that have coronavirus in order to help save their lives. Isn't that amazing? Someone who has suffered through the virus and the donor still didn't need to die. It's amazing to think about this parallel of Jesus Christ using his holy, precious blood to save a dying world. To save a dying world. A dying world? Dying from what? Dying from sin. Here, 2,000 years later, that blood of Jesus is still saving life. The blood of people who have got the coronavirus uses antibodies, still saving lives. Just maybe, just maybe, and this is a little reach, I know, just maybe God is reminding us what power, what power is in the blood of Jesus Christ. The blood of Jesus, that holy, righteous blood of Jesus who knew no sin to cover your sins and mine. It's power that will sanctify us. It's power that will cleanse every single sin we commit. Here's the cool thing. Past, present, and future. Some of y'all have, um, have, have commented and mentioned things that you have done recently that, uh, that you know is a sin. You know things that would separate you from God. And you're worried if God's mad at you. If you're worried if God is going to somehow walk away and not be in your life anymore. You're worried that, that God is a God that you just sinned too much. You just messed up too much and, and you got saved some time back. And, and, but you just keep on sinning and you keep on doing things that, that, that God doesn't approve of. And you just wonder, does God still love me? Yeah, he still loves you. Does the blood of Jesus Christ cover the sins you committed yesterday or day before today? Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. If you've confessed of your sin, asked Jesus to come into your life and save you, made him Lord of your life, yes, those sins that you commit this afternoon are covered by the blood of Jesus. There is absolute great victory over sin, victory over death, in every single solitary drop of the blood of Jesus. Whatever you're going through, whatever situation you're in, when you pray, you pray in the name of Jesus and you're praying in that precious blood that Jesus shed to save you and me for eternity. 
Here's our tip for today, night fishing with a spinner bait. Should you change blades? Absolutely. Use a black blade or use a red blade. That's right, a red blade. And now red blades are kind of hard to come by, but you can actually get spike it, dip and die, and they make a blade die. They make a blade specific, uh, a little bottle, specifically for coloring your spinnerbait blades. And you simply dip it in there and your blade will turn red. Works really, really good. Works really, really good. So guys and girls, go out there and have you a great one today. And remember, I sure do. Remember.